So in this video I'm going to show you how you can make really great looking SharePoint pages using the new Cloud Design Box Call to Action web part. So to get started on your internet page if you click the edit button and go into edit mode what we're going to do is we're going to add this to first we're going to add it to a full width section then we'll look at how you can add it to different types of sections as well but this is particularly good as a full width section and you'll see that the web part that Cloud Design Box make is called CDB Call to Action and as the default option you get this image created, um, a headline, uh, a sub subtitle and then we've also got a call to action button and if I click edit the web part you'll see I've got lots of different options here so I can um, change the headline, access well-being resources I can change the description, find out more about staff resources I can show the button or I can turn it off as well and I can change the button link where I want that button link to go so I'm just going to put a link in there I'm going to change the button link to uh, read more and then you've got some background options so we've put some examples in for you there's some different images you can pick but then you can also put a link into one of your own images that you want to use yourself we can darken the background if you've got maybe an image with some lighter text on the background and I can also choose the image size so um, this will default to appearing in the right place but we can also change the size of the image we can change the positioning of it and we can also hide the background image in small sections so as a page gets made smaller it will hide the background image rather than making a mess of the design and we can also change the padding um, between the top and bottom of the web part and also the font size for the title as well so if you think it's a bit too big you can make it a bit smaller um, once you're ready just click publish and you've got that section built into your page and that's sort of the full width section now we can also use this web part in the other different types of columns so I could use a full width column uh, just a single column that's not full width and I could just move that web part into there and you can see it also looks great there you just get the extra padding at the side and um, so it's more centered on that page now this also works if you've got colored backgrounds so if I wanted to color this section in with one of my theme colors you'll see it also works great as well with the transparent images so I hope that's given you some great ideas on how you can make some attractive and quick and easy call to actions on your SharePoint intranet. Please subscribe to our YouTube channel where you can get access to more useful tips, guides and information.